Welcome back. As we continue to celebrate Black History Month, we spoke with one local nonprofit that's empowering young girls in the community that lacks diversity. Our Noelle Friel takes us there and shows us how the group is helping girls feel confident in their own skin. De Pere resident Rhonda Chandler and her family moved to De Pere from Charlotte, North Carolina for a job opportunity in 2015. While her neighbors were welcoming, she quickly noticed the lack of diversity in the area. It's a predominantly white community. So when we first came, we were the only African American family in our neighborhood. It was clear that her family stood out. Her son was in high school, her two daughters in middle school and elementary school. There were no teachers, administrators or peers that looked like them. We would get the stairs um, or, you know, sometimes people were um, blatant enough to ask, like if we were affiliated with the Packers or what brought us here, was it because of sports? Her children began being bullied at school, frequently receiving racist comments or jokes. Being called the N word, um, comments about their hairstyles, um, comments about their skin color. They wanted to go back to Charlotte. They didn't want to be here because they didn't feel like they belonged or that they were included. She began noticing changes in their behavior, especially among her two daughters who seemed concerned about their appearance. My older daughter, she didn't want to wear hair natural anymore. She wanted to wear hair straighter because her peers wore their hair straighter and she felt like, you know, it was, um, it was just easier to fit in. That's why Chandler created the organization Love in the Skin I'm In, a nonprofit that aims to uplift girls who identify as African American, black, or biracial. The nonprofit provides group meetings and volunteering outings, even working with local schools to offer weekly groups. The group provides a community of support for young girls like nine year old Nyla Van Zigo. Everyone's just like me, and they have the same hair as me in the same eyes as me, in the same age as me. Her mother, Kelly, says having a group of girls who look like her daughter has helped build her confidence. It's been a great opportunity to meet other moms in the area and discuss, you know, current events and do fun projects. For the parents and daughters alike, the group provides them with a community to lean on through life's challenges. You're not alone. And there are people that do care. And it's, it's not so much about the black and white thing as it is coming together collectively as women and what we can do in this community to make it better for everyone. In De Pere, Noelle Friel, NBC 26.